Um, this is about to be the most hectic vlog you've ever seen, probably. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, I just got confirmed. I booked my flight for June. It's a good vlog. Daddy, yo. We were about to crash. Like, Jesus was just taking away. I love y'all. morning vlog um this is about to be the most hectic vlog you've ever seen probably and let me give you the rundown so the tea is that i was supposed to go to coachella weekend trip. sorry just had to pull my suitcase from the literal back of my fridge i believe i'm packing a carry-on to go to coachella right now well we're gonna see if it fits so i was supposed to go with this brand called smiley and urban decay so yeah i was supposed to go weekend two I didn't really want to go weekend two because all of the people that I know are going weekend one. Like I'm saying, all my friends are going weekend one. But I was like, okay, whatever. But then they told me that I actually have to pay for my own flight <clears throat> and that they're only giving me a GA ticket. So I was kind of annoyed about that. And then they also told me that I had to wear the butt ugliest clothes I've ever seen in my life. And then I was like, okay, this is not seeming worth it to me anymore. I think I'm gonna wait for a better opportunity that suits me more um, next year. So I told them that I was pulling out and that I wasn't going. This morning, an angel appeared into my DMs. My friend Corinne texted me, are you sure you're going with that brand? My, the brand that I'm going with weekend one um, told me that, I, that they have an extra ticket. And I'm like, well, babes, actually I wasn't gonna go weekend two. Should I go weekend one? Like, should I go? And, Mind you, it is Thursday today. Coachella is tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. So she's like, okay, let me give you their contact. I'm getting on a flight right now. Discuss with them. I'm like, okay, cool. So I send the email to my agent. My agent sends them an email being like, you know, I'd love to fill in that spot, whatever, whatever. They still haven't answered. It's like the afternoon at this point. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. The flights are going up in price. like. What do I do? <laughs> Finally, I tell myself, bitch, just book the flight. I mean, okay, the flights to Palm Springs went from $600 to $1,300 in an hour. I'm like, okay, no fucking way I'm paying $1,300. Maybe I just won't go. This one, I'm, I'm fucking committed to it. Like, it's in my head that I'm going. So I check the flights to LA. The flights to LA are mad cheap. They're like $400. Bam, I book a flight to LA. How am I gonna get from LA to Palm Springs tonight when I land at fucking 10 p.m.? Don't know, hopefully an Uber will take me. We're packing, um, the flight's at 6.30 like I said. Actually, I think that the carry-on might be a, the move. That's fucking amazing. I've never packed for a trip uh, in a carry-on in my whole entire life. No idea what shoes I'm wearing because the cowboy boots that I would have worn, I literally gave back to Janelle yesterday. Uh, I will update you guys, but I am just gonna pack now and we will see. Bro, I actually have the quickest Asian of all time. She literally, I emailed her, hey, can you get me into a couple events in case I don't finally get the ticket to actually go to the festival? Mod's already confirmed me for three things in like 10 minutes. Okay, I figured that I should actually try on my outfits um, to make sure that I think they look cute and to know what shoes I'm wearing. So this is a Whoops, sorry, my underwear was hot. Uh, I'm gonna try another top for this, maybe. I'm also gonna have to do like all my schoolwork tonight or like on the flight. I still really like this. This is super cute. Just a little bra. I was thinking of just doing these jeans, like literally what I did at fucking Rolling Loud. I'm doing this so badly. It's my first Coachella and I'm going there completely unprepared. Okay, here's another option. I put my hair in a braids right now just because it's like hectic and was in a slick bag. This is the vibe. Also, um, I'm going with a shoe brand. Also gonna definitely have other options for shoes in the house. Okay, it's kind of punchy. Only I was like, forget the coat, but then I remembered that it actually gets fucking cold as shit in the desert at night. Amazing, amazing. Well, I thrifted these shorts really the other day and they're so cute. Okay, I just got confirmed for my ticket for the festival and being able to go with Rock Australia. I'm so excited, guys. Like, I was really putting everything on the fucking fate line. And this is how you know. Just believe it, assume it, and it will be. 
I'm so fucking excited. I'm all packed. I still need to find a way to get from LAX to Palm Springs, but the brand told me they can pre-book me an Uber, so hopefully that will work out. I'm like so excited, like I have so much adrenaline right now. And like Coachella was always something that I like grew up watching my favorite influencers go to and it was always like obviously it's the dream like it's literally the dream when this is the job that you're in and i'm just like i have no words <laughs> i'm excited <laughs> guys this is hectic guys i'm the biggest idiot of all time and i booked i knew i knew i did this i booked my flight for june uh, thank god i got a cancelable one but the fact is, oh man, I'm sweating and, and my heart is beating so fast. Okay, we need to, we need to book another flight. Flights. Flights, flights, flights. More expensive, but it's okay, I don't care. Holy shit, I'm the biggest idiot of all time, bro. I, I, on plus I checked the date like 17 times. I, I look at my own calendar. I'm like, yep, it's the 11th. Yeah, it's the 11th in April, bitch, not fucking June, July. Okay, I'll get back to you when I get my new flight. <laughs> the way we're not even at Coachella yet, and it's the most hectic vlog of life. I booked my flight again. It was $900, but I paid with my PayPal balance, so it doesn't count. It was basically free. I'm boarding at 6.30 now, so my flight leaves at like 7.30 or like 8. Um, so I'm gonna get there mad late, but it's fine. It's gonna be okay. Okay, I'll see you. Yo, I've been in this fucking car for like an hour and a half. Um, we're cutting it pretty damn close to my flight. Um, I'm supposed to board in like 30 minutes. I also feel like I'm deathly ill for some reason, probably because I've been in the car so long. And then I reminded myself that I actually will be having to do a three hour Uber ride once I land. So that's gonna be super exciting. Just for your update, but I'll see you guys when I get to the airport. Guys, we We made it through. I need to eat something. And I need to be so fucking bad. And then we'll go to our gate. 30 minutes to fucking spare. Can I know why it's always boiling hot in the airport? I'm always sweating my actual dick off. I'm getting tacos. We fucking made it. Waiting for the car that Rock booked for me. Thank God they booked me a fucking car because the Uber was legit about to be five thousand two million dollars. Good. Today I'm going Coachella. Probably gonna fall like as soon as I step outside. <sighs> but this time, flavors are being too. We have um, fruit punch, peach iced tea, lemon lime. So what is this? It's just like hydration vibes. Yeah, it's um liquid IV. So it like just puts a bunch of electrolyte. <laughs> so actually, this is a liquid IV yeah. um, hydration accelerator. It, wow, it mm. accelerates the hydration uh, in your body. Sponsor with us. electrolytes enchanted. <laughs> wow, how did you know all that by heart? <laughs> and you know what? It has. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> It has um, potassium, really magnesium, uh -huh. B12. <laughs> okay, yeah, all, all really the good, good stuff. No, it's, it's really fucking good, guys. Um, oh. So we yeah, put some brekkie. Yeah. Okay, this is how I am. Like, this, I have no tripod. This is <gasps> the life. Wait, see, I need a little camera like this. Because look at how big this fucking hand is. Yeah, but I feel like yours is probably like, a bit, bit of a better quality, though. I know, but it's like, you can just throw that in your hat. Mine is fucked. Like I literally just I don't have a case for it. Like I'm I'm a horrible, 
horrible vlogger. Alright guys, this okay. is our this is our choices. Okay. Lemon lime. Orange citrus. Mm. Fruit punch. Ooh. What is this? L another lemon lime. Raspberry lemonade, passion fruit, or cherry pomegranate. <gasps> passion fruit was our safe Ooh, word. Cherry <laughs> pomegranate. I want this one. I have multiples of each, so take okay. one you want. Cherry so you just like put it in the water lemon bottle? Lime. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do lemon lime. Lemon lime. I Guys, think it's I might like try passion fruit. Okay, I can't. I also need to charge my camera. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You can make water so, oh. Get everyone the water. Do you want? Yeah, Guys, we need to be associates. stopped, actually. Oh, it's my water's pink because it's just like I'm just like a girl. Oh, like, literally, you know? like a girl. <laughs> Coachella Core. Mm. Oh, so today we're using <laughs> passion fruit electrolytes, so I it. don't croak in the desert. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. We've got some. Oh, oh literally blowing in my with eye. My hair in it because you know <laughs> how it is. Extra flavor. Yes, you're ready now. Um, didn't bring a knife, so <laughs> we're gonna. Mm. Where's Mel? Ooh, yeah. She was grabbing like a parking pass, but I wonder if like it was a long run. Oh, yeah. I just got dressed. Me and Greta are like uh, fucking matching. Wait, oh my god, guys, I'm already sweating my oh, fucking dick off. <laughs> Hey, baby girl. <gasps> oh my god, you're like a tool. You're a tool. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Revice is literally my babies. They just Ubered me some clothes because I was so last minute for packing for Coachella. They were like, Do you want anything? I was like, Yes, obviously. Okay, look at the door handle. Are you dumb? Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. They're so sweet. <laughs> We got this little black mini skirt. Oh, this is so fancy. Oh, what the fuck? Huh? I have been wanting this tank top ever since I saw it in the showroom. It's like the most perfect fitting tank top in the whole world. So, what to do? Oh, yeah, they sent it in white too. Oh, it's so cute. It's the softest material of all time. They're so fucking tiny. Should we do the Australian taste test? Oh, it's so candy. Yeah. Look at these currants. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Underwear? Oh, oh, and there's these tiny shorts. Oh Wait. God. These are really cute. I love this. Yeah. Okay. This is like a long sleeve thing. Okay. Scroll in. Yo, there's a fucking hammock out here. Yo, there's a there's a fucking hammock. This is not a drill. Can I put you in the tree? I like am actually the wildest bitch with this expensive ass camera. Like I need to stop being so dumb. Oh my god, it worked. What? Oh my god. Woo. Ah. Ah. Oh la vie est belle. La vie est fucking belle. When I get to heaven. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, the glasses. Okay. But should we do? No, you look better, Mama. I'm gonna give you a curse when I see you. I've been talking about this so long. Do we have a crush? I thought it was like, let's go find one. I love you. I'll see you soon, babe. Bye, love. Bye. Okay. We're making drinks. We're making drinks. drinks. Oh my god, you guys, look. I know, I saw that. They're so cute. Wait, I'm obsessed. Is it crazy them. for me to mix vodka and margarita mix? <laughs> no. Amazing. So true. Daddy, oh, who said that? There's a blender. Yeah, Great. but that's like. Oh, I wish we could make frozen. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, we should. Yeah. Wait, yeah, why don't I mean, we? We have all this time. Okay, so should we mix it with tequila or vodka? I'm gonna do tequila because. Well, I need tequila. Welcome to the Coachella Valley. Oh, wait, our bar. Bartend. 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 Oh, doing a little snacks and feed mailer for 420. <gasps> oh. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that good? Wait, I think it's good. Oh no, Eden. So that we'll be able to scoop it out. Oh. Do a taste test? Oh, it's gonna be so bad. Chris, that was way too much tequila. 
That's straight tequila. That is so bad. Holy shit. <laughs> Should we add some fruit in it? Like some fresh fruit? Yeah, I'll try it. Okay, let's just blend this. Let me try this. Or should we, should we like empty out a little bit? I think we should. Okay. Okay. Uh, frozen. Yeah. Oh! It's literally going over. Oh. Wait, oh. it's like just not frozen. Yeah, it's just not How frozen. do we put the whole ice tray in? It's not frozen. This tray. <laughs> Guys. We fucked up. We fucked up. There's absolutely way too much to get like this. Mmm. Chill it pregame. Mm. So good, guys. Okay, we're doing two gems. How the hell did you do this? Okay, so. Take one of these and you gotta soak it with the cleanser. Not soak it, okay. a few drops to soak into the thing. For sure. What is that? All we have is these little. Um, heart gems, so we're gonna do that. I guess we'll do, I don't know, this one? Which, okay, and then you drag one of these. <laughs> what? You one of these. Oh. oh God. I got it. I feel like it's gonna fall off in like a day, but. We're leaving for the festival very soon, so very excited. It's giving shot. Shot, 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 shot. Shot o'clock, Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Guys. Uh. No. Uh. No. Wait, I'm so scared. No. I'm so scared. I like to go back.
ready for Lana Del Rey. It's Lana Awa. Yes. Oh, Fuck, guys. guys. Do you want Do you want K? We're done. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I have some pretty tragic news for you. I broke my fucking camera. Yep, I did. I threw it in my bag, per usual, because I don't take care of it whatsoever. I just throw shit around because I'm a fucking idiot. And I don't take care of my things, so this, let this be a lesson. And now it's like lens error and it won't turn off or on and it's just like stuck. So it's gonna be an iPhone vlog from here on out, but you know, that's okay. Let me show you the fit for today. I changed like literally 17 times, but ended with these shorts. I was gonna wear shorts, but then I was thinking like I got these tiny bitty baby shorts from Revice and like they sent them to me and I was like, where else am I gonna wear this? I can't wear this in New York City. I can only wear this to Coachella. So top is also Revice denim. Boots are rock boots, obviously. Boots are Revice. And then I have a little jacket for when I get cold because yesterday it was so cold. We're gonna go to the festival earlier today. We're gonna go like pretty soon. I'm gonna shoot content yeah. and then maybe we're gonna go to yes. Camp Poosh because I really wanna go to that and then we're gonna go back. Zana, like, Zana, 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 We're here. We're here a little bit later than expected, than planned, but it's fine. We're not gonna end up going to Camp Poosh because we don't have time to shoot content before we all separate. The girls are girling, guys. I actually am such a fast walker. I need to be stopped because I'm always like 10 years ahead of everyone. <sighs> These legs are just made for walking. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to meet up with Liv at some point. We need to take pictures, videos, and then we'll be free to go. Some Wolba Melon. Low key just for prop, but also like it's about to be so yummy. Just extremely mid and disappointing. Um, yesterday was fucking rough. Um, I don't know how much. I don't think I like took any content yesterday night after. You know, shit was thrown back. 
but it was so fun. We went to Neon Carnival. We saw like everyone on my entire fucking social media feed is kind of scary. Um, today we're going to the festival early. It's like one right now. And obviously we need some content, da 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 da. And tonight is Doja. And we're gonna get lit last day. We don't know where the fuck we're going. Right we shall find Red out. Red house. Time shit. Time shit. We shall find out. I'm gonna be my pet. Never ever talk about that again. Right? No, never. Ever. Any appreciation. The girls are not okay. It's giving breakfast. It's giving breakfast. It's giving balanced diet. Okay, a little debrief. The guest party, oh my God. The guest party was so boring, guys. It took us six years to get there. We had to drive all around the fucking shit. We had to jump over a gate into the fucking gated community. And then this woman who lived in the fucking gated community starts chasing us, running after us. Hey, hey, guys, this is a gated. She was freaking out. She's like, I have, okay, I get it. Like you're, you're scared that like little rebels are going into your gated community, but like it was just like not that deep. Anyways, we're definitely in the wrong, but we were trying to not do a whole cult tool. We had to do it. And we didn't have the fucking gate cult code. How are you gonna send an invite with no gate code? Anyways, then we're like, okay, so me and the other girls were not on the list because we didn't, we weren't expecting to go to that party, but we were with people that were going and they were like, okay, hey, it's fine, we'll get you an easy. Lies. This is lies. Takes us six years to contact the fucking dude who can get us on the fucking list. Finally, we get on the fucking list, we go in. Most boring shit I've ever seen in my life. It was like packed, but everyone was just like standing around. But that's just like LA parties to me. Like y'all are kind of boring. Like y'all don't want to dance. You don't want to move. It's just not giving energy, you know? It's not giving like bonding vibes. It's just like, let's just stand and be too cool for each other. But saw some good faces, you know? I did see Alabama Barker and like, to be honest, I do want to be friends with her. So hit my line. Um, oh wait, actually she's like a child. She's only like a year younger than me. Really? She's 18? Yeah. I thought she was like 16. No, I think she's 18. Is she 16? I could have sworn she was 16. Really? Pretty sure she's in high school. I totally thought she was like 18. Anyways. <sighs> um, the other girls left this morning with the rest of the Rock Boots team. And I came to Liv's house because I have a day left. For some reason, I'm flying out of 
Oh, like tomorrow. There she is. She's born in Oh yeah, she is a year younger than me, <laughs> so we can be fun. Anyways, we're just gonna like calm the fuck down and rest up today because we have just been partying it like there's no tomorrow. But there is a tomorrow, and you will be dying. Y'all, I'm back from fucking Coachella. I'm fucking back. It's actually, I came back yesterday in the middle of the night, and then I actually did go have a little sleepover with a mystery man. Because... <sighs> This, okay, that's a different fucking story. I'm not talking about that right now. Girl, like, I don't even know how to, like, debrief this right now. You guys pretty much saw almost everything. Basically, like, first of all, like, insane thank you to everyone that, like, ugh, like, ah! <laughs> like, I actually got, like, I just want to, like, I just have never felt more fucking blessed in my life and, like, more grateful in my entire fucking life. Like, I didn't. Like, I always wanted to, like, do this type of stuff, but, like, now that it's, like, it's, like, here and it's, like, happening for real, like, I just went to Coachella with a brand, like, that's crazy, like, that's fucking crazy, like, this is stuff that I was, like, dreaming of for, for fucking years, you know, and, like, now I'm, like, living it, and it's, like, even, it's surpassing my expectations, like, this Coachella was literally so much more fun than i thought it would be i don't know why like i always knew coachella would be fun but i never thought it was gonna be that fun like this weekend literally feels like it like changed my fucking life and i was talking to the girls that i was with there as well and they were like yeah literally why do i feel like my whole life just changed from this weekend first of all huge huge thank you to rock boots for like bringing me along at last minute like you guys are the best i'm so glad that i was still able to go and i didn't just like ditch because like I said, like, I literally was just not gonna go with the first brand that invited me, and I'm so glad that I got, like, a second, you know, opportunity, <clears throat> and, like, <sighs> next I just want to talk about the girls that I was with in the house. I was so scared, like, when I first got invited to Coachella, and I was gonna stay in a brand house, I told my sister, and she was like, girl, I'm praying for you, because, like, you know, those things can go wrong. Some influencers are fucking mean and, you know, like, not the vibe. Some people are, you know, you know how it is. So I was, like, kind of scared, but I knew I was going to be with Corinne. And, like, first of all, Corinne and me had talked once prior to this. One time we met in person and we, like, crossed paths. Crossed paths. But I don't- I did not know this girl. She- literally referred me to this brand to bring me to Coachella. First of all, like, Corinne, bless your fucking heart and soul. I would have never been there without you. Got to the house and literally I got there at, like, 1 a.m. And the next morning, within, like, 20 minutes, I felt like I knew these girls. Throughout the weekend, we just, like, created such a good bond. And we're, like, literally sharing our lives and, like, dancing the fucking night away. I am so happy that I was with girls that love to dance and like are down for anything like are down to go out are down to go out when they're fucking exhausted after a full day of Coachella like we'll go to a bunch of different sets like we were also with my friend Liv who was there which I'm so happy that Liv was there like I felt so blessed like Liv's one of my friends from New York that I like connected with so much this year like she's one of the best people I've met in New York. I'm so glad that we, like, connected. And Coachella, obviously, like, Coachella, like, brought us even closer. She loves, like, EDM and house music. And she was with her brother, who also loves that type of music. And I don't really listen to that type of music. But I was down for anything this weekend. Like, I was like, take me to all these sets. Like, I know that, you know, there's um, obviously the most fucking ama amazing DJs here. She brought us to so many good fucking EDM and house sets. And I, like fell in love with this shit like i loved it i never stopped dancing like i could not stop moving and it was just the best experience ever to have like this the these girls around me with the same energy and like oh, we were just like drinking and partying and having the best time like seriously like seriously probably one of the best weekends of my entire life if not the best weekend of my fucking life like I literally, all we could talk about with the girls were like, 
and we cannot wait for the next one next year we're doing both weekends like fuck it like it was just like the most fun and i feel so fucking blessed that i got to do it with such amazing people because i know that the people are the ones that like made it that much better you know like if i was with people that like didn't like the music did, like because a lot of influencers like don't really go to the festival even or they'll go for like the last headliner and like then just go to the after parties which is like whatever but you know i i love music like i am a music girl through and through music makes me like feel alive you know what i mean <laughs> so like to be with people that like appreciated it as much as me was like just fucking amazing I just feel so overwhelmed and thankful that I was able to do this. Just like didn't even feel real and like I just, I don't know. I really just like can't wait to do it again. And again, thank you to you guys because like the people that watch me are literally the only reason why I can fucking do this shit. Like obviously everyone says this but like I really do just like I, I, don't, I can't even like you know like I can't. This shit is crazy. One thing that I will say is that we didn't go to that many parties because we were so tired and Rock Boots had us going to the festival at like 1 p.m. to shoot content, which like obviously that's fine because they wanted to get it out of the way, which is like completely understandable. But girl, we were spending 12 hours at the festival and it is hard to go out after that. So next year i definitely want to go more like later a bit later in the day and like be able to go to the after parties because i also wanted to like meet more people like also like meet more influencers because i don't have many influencer girlfriends do you know what i mean like obviously i'm friends with like garments and like miles and them a little bit like you know like we talk here and there but like i don't have many like really close friends that are influencers well, now obviously I have like Kitty and um Kitty and Corinne, which is so amazing that they live in New York, which because like oh my god, that's a blessing. Now I'll be able to like, see them at events and stuff. But yeah, it would have been nice to like network and um talk to more people, but there's always next year, hopefully. Like literally if I don't get invited next year, I, I would literally I would buy a ticket. Like it was that fun. Anyways, yeah, I'm still fucking recuperating because that shit was fucking so much energy you don't understand how beat we were the day after coachella like i didn't vlog at all because me and Liv were literally rotting in bed like we weren't even talking to each other but again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this coachella this coachella vlog i tried as best i could to record as much as i could but i was i was living it up girl so let me know if you enjoyed and yeah i love you so much and i'll see you probably next week or something